Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Midnight Customs. So today we're going to do a step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on Art Captain's Cut 50 Plasma Cutter. This thing's a pretty sweet little machine, so we're going to get right into it. Now, first things first, it is dual voltage. You can either plug it in to 110 with the supplied adapter, or if you've got 220, the machine is actually hardwired with a 220 plug. So, now, some key things to note about the voltage. If you are plugged into 110, the max cutting amps you can get is 30. Now, if you're plugged into 220, you can get the full 50 amps. So we're going to get right into this. Start right here. Here's your pressure regulator. Yellow gauge right here. You got your uh, adjust. You can adjust your air pressure right here with this knob, and it hangs off the back. And it's got a, a water drain. It's an air pressure regulator slash water separator. Now, this does come with a barb fitting, and it comes with several feet of this uh, pressure rated clear hose. Now, what I ended up doing was, because this barb fitting is threaded in, and they use some sort of contact cement or red Loctite, not sure which, but you really have to hold on to this, and you really have to put some torque on this, and honestly, it's whatever. I don't want to break it. Um, so, what I did was, I cut this hose down with a little bit of length, and then I used a couple of uh, double connectors, and these are just your quarter inch uh, NPT uh, airline fittings for air tools. So, nothing super fancy. You can get these anywhere that sell air tools, your local tractor supply, what have you. Easy. I can just plug the air compressor directly into this. No issues. Now, um, you'll... Uh, pop this up to adjust your air pressure you'll turn it one way or the other to increase or decrease and then to keep it set there so it doesn't get moved you click it back down um, very lightweight machine I want to say it probably weighs 10 pounds and then over here we've got a large display screen and we're going to get into that shortly but in the meantime we're going to go through the attachments the cutting lead, the ground, and we're going to get all that set up and we're going to show you how to do that. It's super easy. It's very self-explanatory, straightforward. Got the front of your machine here. Take your ground cable into this one. The uh, electronic control for your uh, cutting torch into here. And this is your airline. So, let's go over the torch real quick. This is it. These consumables are very, very affordable. And we'll go through this real quick. As you can see, I have been using it lately. So, um, you want to have clean, dry air, no oil, no moisture, because it is going to affect the life of your uh, consumables. The cleaner and the drier your air is, the longer these are going to last. So make sure you get you a uh, air dryer in line right off your compressor or somewhere between your compressor and your plasma cutter. So you got a porcelain cup. We're going to go through the torch real quick. Porcelain cup. You got your cutting tip. A little porcelain insulator. And your electrode. Now, I don't know if you can see that. But, 
you want to check these if you're having any sort of issues with cutting it's not sparking when you make contact check this because this here does erode uh, under use and like I said the dirtier and wetter your air is the faster this goes away so here's your torch and you see there there's like a little rubber o-ring so it goes together like so you have your electrode put it in there take your insulator put it right on top of that your cutting tip now if you notice there's a little cross pattern in there this is a drag style torch so you do have to touch this to the piece and that cross that's in there is put in so the slag will escape the cutting tip as you're cutting and these also are consumables everything I showed you that just came in and out of here is a consumable put it on put your uh, porcelain cup over it And you're done that's all there is to it super easy and like I said you can get these in a big bundle pack for pennies on the dollar now they do give you a little plastic uh, cup that fits over this and that's so you can thread that into the machine and not have to put a wrench in there um, I don't use it, but uh, it's definitely handy if you need to. So if you see it in your in your box of parts when you pick up your Cut 50, that's what that's for. It just slips over this, and you can turn that and tighten this down to the machine. So what we're going to do is we are going to attach this. And you have a two-pin control plug and the very top is notched it only goes into this center thing one way and that notch is facing straight up put it in tighten the lock ring down just till it's nice and snug you don't want to reef or really torque down on any of this stuff it's going to create a headache for you later if you damage it that way. Your air hose just goes in right here. And finger tights really all you need. And check these connections periodically. Once in a while when you're moving it around, stuff will kind of work its way loose. No big deal. You just tighten it back up. And now, your ground. Dim's 25. Anyway, it's a lug. You see that little notch right there? That goes into a little keyway down here. Straight down on the bottom. Push it in. And you give it a half a turn. And you're set. So now, we will go over the display and the different functions in here. All right, so we're plugged into 220 power. And uh, we got a 40-foot extension cord that Art Captain uh, just released. And it has the welder plug, the proper plug for your welder, the 3-pin 50-amp. So uh, it's pretty nice turn it on you hear the fan there's a cooling fan it's like a PC fan whatever but it works really great you can definitely feel it and it won't stay on it turns on briefly when you first fire the machine up and then it runs as you're running it and then as the uh, electronics cool 
uh, it'll eventually shut itself off so it's not running constantly. So right now, we're on 50 amps. Here, come on in here. Let's get you in here, folks. All right, so right now, we're on 50 amps. Here, let me flip you around so this reads correctly. Right now, we're set to 50 amps. And then up here, you got 2T and your current. So, this dial here, adjust your amperage. So, 50 is the max, 20 is the minimum. Okay. Now, when you get your machine, there is a settings chart for air pressure and amperage to paste based on, excuse me, uh, the material thickness that you're cutting. So, we'll put it back at 50. And we're going to go over here to operation mode. Now we're on 4T. The difference between 4T and 2T is 4T you pull the trigger once and it just keeps cutting until you pull the trigger again. Basically like an automatic deal. 2T, it only cuts as long as you're holding the trigger down. As soon as you let go, it stops. So, um, I use 2T just because I want more control over it. But if you're doing long cuts, 4T would probably be better for you. Um, play around with it and uh, make sure you practice on some scrap before you do your actual work piece. Preferences. So we got post gas flow. I got it set at 15 seconds, which is the max. You can turn it down to five seconds, which is the minimum. I do 15 or whichever the max is. In this case, it's 15. And what that does is that keeps air blowing through your uh, consumables for 15 seconds after you've stopped cutting. And it helps cool all of this down and extend the life of your consumable. So we're cutting a piece of 14 gauge. This is a cutout. A skeleton is what they call it. For some other stuff. Anyway, you just want to be comfortable. And, uh, you know, just go for it. Make sure you touch your tip. You have a ground clamp on. Just like the hot knife through butter. I do strongly recommend protecting your eyes and hands. That is molten metal. Um, this is a uh, hood they got at artcaptain.com. And you've got a weld, cut, and grind mode. And you can adjust the, the settings, the darkness settings, and sensitivity settings on here. So... We're going to go to cut.
All right, folks, and there you have it, <clears throat> the Cut 50. Works really good. You can even cut out some Halloween decorations. Makes it super easy. So, I hope this video is very informative and helpful for you. If you're just buying a Cut 50 plasma cutter and you're looking at how to set it up, I hope this video gives you some uh, ease in doing that. We appreciate you. Uh, shout out to Art Captain for sponsoring this video. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. This is Brandon. This is Midnight Customs. Get to arcing and a sparking. Make some Halloween art.